City Slick. A cowboy poet I am not, was raised an Eastern Catholic, moved west to work the cowboy's lot. The boys, they call me City Slick. I'm right at home here on the range, round on little doggies up, though I ain't seen much hiding her hair, a pregnant bitch or little pup. I ride the range from dawn till dusk, bouncing in a rusty Ford. The boss won't let me saddle up, cross myself and thank the Lord. Oh, it's not that I'm a scared, and I don't often get liturgic. I just can't abide those equine beasts. Doc says I'm horse allergic. I ain't the toughest man around, but I do try my best to fit in with the cowboy crew and take my place out west. The boys say I'm a greenhorn, say I'm wet behind the ears, ain't never seen such a tenderfoot in all their ranching years. Bill, the lanky Texan, skin like leather, tall and thin, once leaned upon the hitching post and tossed me his tobacco tin. With a twinkle in his eye, he said, just pack some in your gums. I did as Bill suggested, and soon my breakfast, up it comes. The laughter from the boys was like the cackle in the buzzards, as I doubled over on the ground and let go all my innards. My body was a-shaking, my mind too numb to think, when Don, the dude from Denver, said, City needs a drink. He grabbed me by the collar, dragged me down to the saloon, where he chugged a fifth of whiskey and made me drink from the spittoon. The boys were drunk with pleasure at my tenderfoot expense, as hellfire and damnation in my gullet did commence. The flames they set to raging in my belly and my head, and if it weren't for Tulsa Tim, I'd most assuredly be dead. Tim was quick to action. He said, Boys, let's cool him off! As they carried me to the livery and threw me in the trough. That splash of cold reality was more than I could take. And like a busted bronc, I felt my spirit start to break. A coughing and a sputtering, I came up to calls and jeers, covered in green algae and fighting back the tears. Now, cowboy blood's as thick as mud and cow pies, if you please, and cowboy love's as true as any love and spreads like fleas. But my blood thinned as I shivered then with a knocking in my knees and my love waned for the brotherhood of cowboys such as these. Then the cowboys gathered round the trough and pulled me to my feet. They slapped my back and smiled proud and praised my qualities. Stunned by their affection, I quelled my enmity. With voices proud, they sang three cheers to the newest cowboy, me. Still, with a trembling heart and a quiet sob, I eyed them cautiously, those rowdy and rude and excessively crude but so faithful cowboys three. I shifted my glance to the gun in my pants as I pondered my loyalties. Oh, if not for my love of the cowboys lot, I'd have shot them SOBs.